Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a armature for a Triceratops. So this is the Triceratops we did, the, the, the 20 minute modeling Triceratops video. So now I'm going to show you how to make the armature, which it looks like this. These armatures I made with aluminum wire that you can get in any craft supplies store like Michaels. So what you need is a wire like this. This is the thin wire, the thin aluminum wire, which is about 0 0.055 inch. But if you are going to make a larger dinosaur, you, need, you could use thicker wire. So basically the wire looks like this. And uh, you need a ruler. So you are going to start by getting two units, which in this case is going to be an inch a unit, two units, one, two. If you want to use thicker wire, you could use four inches, but today I'm making one inch, one unit. Once you fold it, this is the head and the neck. When you, when you fold it, you are going to fold half a unit, which is the shoulder. So we're going to get half a unit. This is going to be the shoulder. Okay, so it's the head, the neck, the shoulder, and then we have the legs. No? Like, like we can see here, we have the legs. This is going to be one unit, and this is going to be another unit. So, so let me see here, you see? One unit and another unit. So, so you are going to grab your ruler again and then fold in the mark of one unit. And you make it, you fold it backwards. It have to have the shape of the, the leg, no? You have to have this triangle of the leg, which is the elbow, right? So then you are going to fold the next unit, which is right here right now then the next unit you are going to also fold around a loop to make the pow the the foot the pow right so that's it so you see head neck shoulder top part of the leg bottom part of the leg and the foot now, uh, if you have a plier, you, it's helpful because you could grab the wire and this lets you wrap it once, twice. This brings me to the shoulder. Then I do once, twice. This brings me to the, sorry, to the elbow, to the shoulder. And then once and twice. And now I'm ready to do the other side. So we have already one side. So this is the other side. So the same. You are going to get about half a unit. And you are going to get one unit. Then bend it. Bending backwards. Then you are going to get another unit here and and fold it around to make the other foot let me see remember this is an armature so if they are a little uneven doesn't matter because when you put clay you just add a little more clay here to even out the, the foot so it's useful if you grab your pliers to hold the foot and wrap the aluminum wire onto the leg you want to make it nice and tight right this is going to grab the clay so it's easy to sculpt okay so we get here to the to the top of the arms and now we are going to make the spinal cord will be right. This will be what what is uh, 
this is how it looks so far right? so if you see the piece so now you're going to make the spinal cord which which is the same it is about i'm just stretching it a little bit which is about two units right two units and the same we're going to fold it in, in the two unit mark and we are going to make the hips which is also half a unit and you bend it downwards now in the back legs fold difference doesn't fold like like the front legs like a elbow is a knee so the knee, the knee falls the other way so we are going to get the the, the, the this actually the triceratops has really stronger legs on the back so these are one unit and a half okay these are one unit and a half so it's not one inch it's one inch and a half okay one inch and a half and then then we have the one unit okay then we have one unit so this is leg knee leg and here you with the same we make a, a loop to make the the other foot is good if you have pliers because it helps you to to make the loop but sometimes it's just more difficult so i, I just do it with a hand is sometimes it's just more easy and the same we are going to wrap it one twice this bring me to the knee then i'm going to wrap it towards the top of the leg this bring me to the beginning of the hip then use one should bring me already into the center as you see here or arma to the starch taking shape right now let's do the other side so this is about half a unit and remember this is one unit and a half to the knee this is what you did in on, in, on the other side but opposite right and the next is one unit one unit and you fold it to make the feet right fold it wrap it around if uh, these are legs are on the way you fold them to the side and later you can fold them back okay so uh, we already have the legs now we are going to make the we are going to make the tail which the tail is going to be um, let's see how long i made this because i really like it this length yeah this is three units the leg is going to be three units one two three now the leg is useful if you always um, grab your pliers because the leg you want it very nice and tight weave it around because uh, in the narrow part if you make it too thick you will have a really thick tail I guess in this dinosaur doesn't really matter but other dinosaurs have thinner tails so you don't want to make them too wide okay so once we get here we are gonna continue making the the shape 
over the body and this is bringing us to the beginning of the neck so we are getting there we are getting there we are getting there so let me show you what we do here we are gonna wrap this for about one unit remember these were two units so we're gonna wrap about one unit that's it because this is going to become one of the horns okay then you are going to use this to make a little bit the beginning of the head you don't want to make it too much because then if it's too wide then you cannot model a nice head it's better just to have something to hold the head and then sculpt it okay so once you have the little uh, the little part that is gonna hold the head I like to make a small loop here which is gonna hold his um, his crown or no, I'm not sure what is called this head plate but I like to make two loops when I'm making the triceratops that is gonna help me hold that that um, that part and that's it so once I finish those I made the other horn and we obviously need, need your pliers so you can cut it and that's it so now we have to use a just it okay those the horns doesn't matter if they are small we are gonna build on to this this is just the skeleton is just made to help us hold the clay on place so it's easier to work let me clear a little bit my tools okay now let me even out the the piece so if you are looking at picture of a triceratops they are taller on the back and then the tail goes low like this try to even it out if this foot is too high just push it down okay seems seems i got it this horn seems too big i'm gonna cut a piece to even them out uh, make the horn one yep that's it this a little more straight which is what holds the, the head and this is it this is how you build a armature for a triceratops then if you want to make it walk like this remember if you are if the triceratops is is moving forward one one leg is back and one is to the front and in the other side the legs are smaller if you look Jurassic Park you you can get the idea how to give more movement to your sculpture or maybe you just like to have it like museum like a museum triceratops just standing up there so just even the legs make it very symmetric and this is it this is how you make an armature for a triceratops i do sell armatures i sell a pack of 10 armatures of different animals and dinosaurs for sixty dollars. Ten armatures for sixty dollars plus shipping. So if you are interested in buying armatures to have projects to do with your kids, message me and we can 
and discuss further what animals you like but uh, I'm gonna just quick show you this is the lion armature it's, it's very similar right it's very similar but lions have very thin tails so it's not double on the back so so the tail can be shaped uh, thinner and like I tell you know like once you practice with this probably you will do your own armatures you won't need to buy armatures which is my goal that you learn how to sculpt on your own right this is the lion and this is the lion right so it's a little different these different units you could watch how to make a lion armature video too um, what we have here this is a stegosaurus Stegosaurus very similar, very similar. You see all the dinosaurs are very similar. Slightly small difference in details. I haven't finished or made the video how to make the Stegosaurus, but this is a sharp form of the Stegosaurus. It's missing all the plates and the spinals on the tail. But uh, soon I'm gonna load the videos on, on the Stegosaurus. And this, which is the uh, Memenchisaurus, I believe. Uh, I love this piece. I just haven't had time to to finish it. This is very rough, ten minute shape, but I love this. And soon I'm gonna do the Brontosaurus. I, I like it, the long neck red dinosaur. So I wanna make a skeleton for for a Brontosaurus, which is going to be pretty similar, except they have a home. No, it's very uh, maybe they are longer with a home. Um, you could also watch those videos on how to how to make it, which are coming soon. So well, with this we end today. Well, actually, it's this one. We end today with our video on how to make the skeleton of a triceratops. Thank you very much. Bye bye.